What's going on guys? Today I have your uh, 2020 F-250 uh, diesel, turbo diesel I should say, 6.7 liter. I just want to start off from the very back end right over here. So with the 2020 on the Lariat, Lariat package, it starts off with the smart tailgate release. which is located on the key fob as you can see right there. If you double press this, the tailgate is going to fall down for you. Now when it comes to picking it back up, you got to do it yourself, but it is very light. It's no more of the heavy tailgate because the vehicle is aluminum. You can pick it up with two fingers, one finger is completely up to you. It's all hydraulic. Coming over here to the step stool. It's a three-way step. And it tells you the number just in case you forget how you pull it back out. You have a spring action step can hold up to 500 pounds so you can get inside. Here's your little lumbar to get inside of the vehicle. So let me put this down real quick. And as you see located right over here, there is a rubber button. This button, when you push it, you have your LED lights right here and over there on that side of the vehicle as well. So it lights up the bed of the truck at night. These black little brackets right here are strap down brackets. So we have little plates inside of the car that go inside the slot. So you're able to strap down stuff a little bit easier. And closing this up. Most of our vehicles have don't have the gooseneck hitch, but it can be added on if you're interested in getting the gooseneck. This, this, this vehicle did have aftermarket parts put on it. It has a six inch lift with 20, 22 inch uh, hostile, hostile tires and rims, as you can see right there. Coming over here to the front, there is different packages on the Lariat. This is more of the bottom package, but since you are driving a big vehicle, if you see this camera right here, this vehicle has bird's eye view 360 camera where you can see everything around the vehicle. You cannot miss one single spot of, of your vehicle. Now, I don't know if you look closely to this color. This is our most popular color, Star White. When it's very clean, you can see it sparkle in, in the daylight. And it's just very unique. But uh, let's hop in on the inside and I'll show you a little bit more. All right, guys. So now we're on the inside of the vehicle. I kind of want to start over here on the driver's side. It's a little bit hard to see. But on the very top right over here, you have your electric mirrors. So you can see them slide out and you can see them slide back in. We're over here, it's a little bit harder to see. You have your little mirror spotlight. So if you press this, a little light's gonna pop up on the on the, uh, on the the outside of the mirror, kind of for clearance reasons, however you really wanna use it. And also you have automatic mirrors to pull them in. If you see the little cars, you have blind spot detection inside your mirrors because obviously it's a big truck, you do have blind spots. You have memory seating, up to three different people on your memory seat, so no more arguing about that. You also have foot pedal adjusters for those moms out there who the dad makes drive the bigger vehicles. We have foot pedal just to bring them forward to you or further back from you. Also, you have your eight inch display right up here. Since it is a turbo diesel, you have your turbo gauge right there in the top right corner. You can replace that with the DEF fluid for everybody who knows who that is. And you can have it replaced up there so you can choose in between. And the digital dash, y'all seen that before on the Expeditions and the F-150. So you're kind of familiar with that. On the steering column is your regular cruise control. Uh, these arrows are to navigate through the through the digital dash. It is a push to start vehicle So you have a wireless key located right here and you have your uh, remote start as well. Can't can't forget that This one is four-wheel drive. No F-250 is not a two-wheel drive It's very rare that you find one and you also have your trailer braking and your pro trailer backup assist If you need help backing up a trailer with a gooseneck or just a regular to, uh, pool trailer They turn it on and simply help you back up on the F-250, you have your wireless charging pad, as you can see right there. It supports any new iPhone or Android. You have your heated and cooling seats with dual climate control. And you'll see it light up right there. There it goes. Wireless charging. The radio does have Apple CarPlay, so all you got to do is simply hook up your charger to the radio, and your phone is going to project on the radio for you. You have your Bluetooth, your Sirius XM. Pressing right here, you have your climate, if it's a little bit harder to see down there. And right here, you can adjust it. And it's still dual climate with heated seats, heat, cooling uh, cooling seats, and a heated steering wheel as well. You have your navigation. And also Ford Pass is an app you download on your phone where you simply can start your vehicle through the touch of your phone and unlock it and unlock it through the touch of your phone. And also you can set um, scheduled remote starts. So if you get off of work every day at 6.30, your vehicle's going to turn on every day at 6.30. That's the best part about it. And it's free to you. You don't got to pay for it. So coming right over here, you have your engine braking by, by pressing that. Here's your charge control, hazard lights, downhill cruise control. Lane keep assist is a safety feature that we have to where if you're going off on the side of the road, this vehicle is going to be vibrate, do everything in its power to let you know that you're going off on the side of the road. And as you can see on the radio, we have our bird's eye view backup camera, like I was mentioning. Right now we're looking at the front. You have your front, front three. 
Here's for uh, my gooseneck people. And then here is the auxiliary camera if you want to hook anything up to that right there. And that's just by pressing that. To see the rear backup camera, simply just put it in reverse, obviously. And you can do the same thing. Back, back three, and then you can still see the bed of the truck right there. Go right there. We have our B&O sound system. It's the best sound system Ford has to offer located right up there. It competes with Sony and Bose radio as well. Right above here, we have our panoramic sunroof. So it's gonna be completely all the way to the back. Oops, so it's, it's gonna stop twice. You press it once, it goes uh, halfway. Press it again, it goes all the way. Opening up the sunroof, it's gonna provide double temp for the people in the back and it's gonna give you a bug guard right up here as well. Which is very important in back streets of Texas. I also love the space. The space in the back is awesome. Love it. It's very spacious, very, very spacious, might I add. While you're on there, let me hop in the back real quick so I can show you all something. So right back here, you, you can have WeatherTech floor mats. There are some fit for this particular model. So when you pick up the seat, you have this extra cargo space in here. As you can see, this was hidden this whole time. By flipping this down, you can push this down and it folds down to where it's completely fat, flat. And picking it back up locks up and that's where you can have hidden storage right back here you have two ac vents with the with the wall uh usb ports a 110 volt wall plug-in and a 12 volt right there with two ac vents and yeah there you go. also smooth leather seats and i love this like this truck is awesome it's very comfortable it is a super duty so it has a lot of horsepower of course you do have a glove department right here and a little storage area right here so man and not to forget also for my people who are a big fan of lights these are auxiliary cables you can have up to six if you want to put lights under your wheels underneath the underneath the vehicle i know a lot of people who bought f-250s for me they put their train horn on auxiliary one so you can hook up a train horn if you want to and simply like that you have your back window shade as you can see right there and not to mention, these are not speakers. These are your motion sensors. So if you leave your vehicle locked with your windows down, the moment someone puts their hands through the car, it's gonna completely go go off. And the same, same thing if you leave your child or your dog on the inside of the vehicle, these are gonna sense any type of movement and it's gonna go off for you so you can never forget anything in your car that's living. That's hoping that doesn't happen. Here's your garage door adapters right here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. it. All right, so we're gonna take this for a spin back to the dealership. And uh, if you are familiar with the Houston area, know that I-10 is the most busiest freeway. Actually, probably the most busiest freeway in the United States, and it is loud. But as you see, you do not hear that. This truck is completely noise cancellated. But I'm pretty sure you can hear a fire truck or an ambulance if it comes. But look, let's see the difference. This is window up. And this is window down. So anyways, right now we're driving. Of course, uh, he doesn't have a seatbelt on, so it does make a lot of noise. But this, since this is an off-road vehicle, you can tell that there's not that much vibration. And it is very, very smooth. So, like, I love it. Um, I don't like the gas with a lift kit. But, you know, some people, if you can afford a truck, with the lift kit, you can afford the gas, some people, but anyways. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and uh, stay tuned because I will be dropping more videos almost every day, and we're out.